Radical sustainability to address jobs nobody likes. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 340. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 340, September 29th, 2019 edition. One Community's goal is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Today's topic that I'd like to talk about related to that is radical sustainability to address jobs nobody likes. A couple weeks ago, I talked about sustainability as a solution to unemployment, and this is related to that because unemployment is a problem in that we're losing a lot of jobs that people might not necessarily want, but they really need to take care of their families. We're losing jobs in manufacturing. We're losing jobs in transportation. And now with artificial intelligence, we're also losing jobs in customer service. Even our grocery stores and our different stores now that we go into, you have self-checkout options. And so a lot of these jobs are going away and they will never come back. The question is, is do people really want these jobs? Like, do they bring joy and fun into people's lives? Do people enjoy going to these jobs? And how many other jobs like this are, are, the, are people working that they absolutely do not like? You know, office jobs or just jobs where people, it's a daily grind and they don't want it. Or maybe people hate the commute. Well, radical sustainability is one way to address these jobs that nobody likes. Teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, which we are creating the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of these highest good living models. So everything you see happening in the video here, we are creating the open source tools and resources and blueprints for replication. And we will build this as one community, the first prototype, and teach others how to replicate what it is that we're doing and how to evolve and improve on what it is that we're doing to create something hopefully even better but we're creating as a way so that people can get rid of the jobs that they don't like as a, as a way to address jobs that nobody likes and to give them a place where they can come and they can dedicate their lives to creating world change or so they can just retire into these environments and live a life that doesn't, in, doesn't include a job that they don't like. And so our model, one community's model, is to bring together people with that consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet that want to make a difference and that are inspired by work like this, that love doing work like this and create a community model that supports doing that kind of work while also providing a way of life that is more fulfilling, more enriching than people are currently living, than almost everybody is currently living right now. Because in the community environment, we can have more fun. It's a lot easier to bring together people to do the things that you love to do as groups for people that are social people and people that like recreation and socialization, or even for people that like to be alone but still like to have access to those things whenever they want. They want to go to a dance or if they want to participate in something like a book club or a poetry club or a reading club or something like that, or maybe it's uh, getting together to go on a nature hike. You know, or they want to be really hands-on with their children's uh, education. You know, all these things can be brought together in a community model, and we can use radical sustainability to address jobs nobody likes by eliminating the need for those jobs within these environments and providing an alternative where people can meet the needs of their 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 families, meet the needs of their friends, like bring people together to live and cooperate and collaborate in community, and to make a difference in the world at the same time. Or for people who don't want to make a difference in the world, to just create a community model that would allow them to no longer have to work those jobs that they don't like. And within the community model, for jobs that nobody likes, that still have to be done. Of course, there's going to be things that's like, oh man, there's nobody that's really excited to do that. Within a community model, you get to share and distribute that job amongst all people within the community. And so it's fair and less people need to spend a lot of time doing that meaning everybody does a little bit of the work that nobody wants to do, and so nobody has to do all of that work. Versus right now in the current everybody for themselves paradigm, it's really like everybody is just working to try and get ahead, to get to the top. And for those people that achieve that, that's great. They get to stand over their workforce and do things that they want to do, and hopefully they derive joy from that. But for everybody that's not in that position, it means that they're, they're, they're not enjoying life at that level. 
And it's like the goal is really to basically climb that ladder and crawl over everybody around you so that you get to the top and then you get to be the person in charge. Well, why don't we create environments where everybody cooperates and collaborates and can be in charge together and can make the decisions and the rules together and share the responsibility of the things that nobody wants to do equally so that it's fair. And then so that we have more free time to do the things that we want to do, to enjoy the things that we want to do. And more of those things to do all within walking distance. This is what one community is all about. This is the social architecture aspect. And so I talk every week about how the goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. And that's what one community is creating. And this idea of making it attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own is we think that there is a huge, huge segment of the population that are pretty unhappy with their work choices. They're pretty unhappy with what they, what they have to do to get by every single day. And one community is a solution to that. Radical sustainability can address jobs that nobody likes. By creating radical sustainability, you eliminate most people's expenses for food, housing, and energy, and education. Those are major expenses for most people. And all of those things are covered within one community, as well as car insurance, cell phone costs, you know, uh, cable costs. All of those things are collaboratively covered within a one community model. Insurance costs, all of those things. So now the overhead of living comes way, way down. And then through cooperation and collaboration on daily living habits like making food, education, things like that, washing washing uh, clothes and keeping grounds clean, things like that, all those things are cooperating and collaborating on as well. So people have more time, more free time going to the grocery store for the things that can't be grown on site. You know, all those things can be cooperated and collaborated on so that one person or two people can work together and provide enough food for 50 people, you know, two people can work together and get a job done that normally we're all doing individually like laundry for 50 people. And in return, somebody else is doing other things and we rotate through those jobs if nobody likes them. And so people have more free time to do the things that they want to do and more things to do all within walking distance. This is what one community is about. And this is how we're using radical sustainability to address jobs nobody likes by eliminating the need for them and creating an environment that meets the needs of people better than the current environment so that people don't have to work in jobs that they don't want. This is our idea. This is what we're up to. So uh, yeah, with that said, every week we're working towards uh, making progress on creating all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating everything that you've seen in the background of this video and so much more than that because we want to live this way and we want to share it so that other people can live this way as well. So thanks for watching uh, to the end of my little talk here. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keep it on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.